dollar store item. It's gonna be Harold themed. So because this is Harold themed, I think I will share the story of Harold again. Harold was a bear. He loved honey very, very much. And so one day, he stumbled upon a honey jar just sitting in the middle of the woods. He immediately snatched it up and tried to get the honey out. The unfortunate part was he got himself stuck inside the honey jar. Don't ask me how he did that, okay? But anyways, once he got in the honey jar, he was very annoyed. He had a very annoyed, annoyed face from then on. And then bees started to make it worse. Bees annoyed him even more. They were mad that their honey jar was occupied by a bear. They started buzzing around his head. And at this point, Harold was already very, very, very annoyed. And that's how Harold was born. Okay, so that was the story of Harold. Now let's get back to this picture frame. I don't know why I chose a butterfly, but what I do know is that I'm designing it like Harold. So I'm pretty sure this could be Harold's head, though in Harold's original design, he had no honey on his head. It was only in the design with a vase that he had honey drooped over his head. And for this time, he will have honey drooped on his head. He doesn't have a butterfly shaped head though. Okay, right now we're going to be filling in all the crevices and nooks and crannies and trying to get in everything. We're trying to be quite detailed here. We're gonna try and make Harold's design very wonderful. And here are Harold's ears, which are the butterfly antenna. They don't really look like bear ears, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Oh, and here's Harold's pot right there on the frame. Yes, you can see him. So as you can see, right now we're just adding our highlights. It's looking very shiny, and I love the highlights. They're like my favorite part. And right now, I'm coloring the bottom, which is actually supposed to be the bottom of a honey jar. I'm not sure if I loved the idea at first, but I liked how it turned out. So there's supposed to be the top of a honey jar, inside there's honey, and then there's butterfly coming out or something. Okay. This is the top of a honey jar. It's a very strange idea, but I just thought I would try it. And here's the honey in the honey jar. It's very yellow. I'm not sure if it looks like honey, but just know that it is. It's honey and Harold's butterfly is coming out and now there are highlights in it my favorite part it's gonna be more honey and then more butterfly brown stuck in the honey jar And so the stick where the butterfly is on is also drooped with honey. How that got there, I don't know. But all you need to know is that honey is overflowing here. Wherever Harold is, that's where you'll find honey. And I'm drawing the honey in the same style as I did it on the butterfly. And I'm glad I did because it looks good. 
And now we're coloring in the last bits. It's got brown on the stick and honey drooping over it. And it's just about finished. We just need to do some final touches. More highlights on the honey. So here's the finished product.